my dear friends my name is santosh mayer and let me wish you all the very best for 2019 and 2020 these two years are going to be the defining periods of your life and i wish you the very best for these two years 2019 and 2020 now somebody may wonder as to why am i wishing you for two years and when generally people wish you 2019 you know that's a one year game but i want to wish you for two years because the next two years are going to be the most dramatic two years in the history of your entire life it can be the most magical the most mesmerizing the most beautiful two years of your life or it can be the most destructive you know defining moments of your entire career or life the reason why i'm saying this is because you know we are in the last stage of the fourth crossover the fourth crossover began in 1970 and it is going to get over in 2020 any crossover is for a period of 50 years and in this crossover period everything that was there before was challenged and will be done away with in this world there have been four crossovers the first crossover happened one lakh years ago when people began to speak much before people spoke they could not speak because they didn't know the vocal cords were not developed so people did not know how to speak and therefore sign language mein baat karte the people used to speak in sign language and then when people realized that they could create voices and things like that and therefore people began to speak so one lakh years ago the first crossover happened when people began to speak and they could speak to one guy two guy three guy ten guys and because of which what happened was they could transform or they could change the circumstances around them the second crossover happened 10000 years ago 10000 years ago when people began to write now because i could write i could write on a piece of cloth or a piece of you know leaf or whatever may be the case whatever forms people used to write because they could write big writing say they could communicate to people so i could write something and if i wanted to communicate in pune or in america i could write something and i could send it on a horseback or some kind of a medium of transport and i could communicate and the world changed much more faster because from speaking you can speak one to one one to many but you can't be speaking all over but with writing you can you know reach your message to multiple people in multiple location and therefore the world transformed in a much more bigger manner the third then nothing happened till about 500 years ago in 1455 when gutenberg invented the in in a moving chip or the moving print so the printing concept began so when printing came in you can just print and print and print and print and you can make thousands of copies of this print and send it to all over the place and because of this third crossover everything changed in fact the monarchies and all the big raja maharajas fell in the last 500 years during that particular period in europe and other places because people could speak you know people could communicate through print now that was the third crossover then nothing happened till 1967 when gordon moore invent, inter, invented the integrated chip it took a little while for it to stabilize on everything and from 1970 the third crossover happened and that was the technological crossover you know every crossover and every crossover is for a period of 50 years so from 1970 to 2020 and particularly the last two years of the crossover will be the most bloodiest period in the history of that particular period and if you there right now see people are confused people don't know what the hell is happening to their life people are going like headless chicken helter skelter all over the place and there's so much of revolution happening in communication nobody knows what the hell is happening and therefore the only capability that you require to manage this whole period is confidence and i have always said confidence because previously confidence used to come from outside your joint family gave confidence you know the unions gave confidence the governments gave confidence the close to country you know the countries had border the sovereign nations had conf- and you got confidence from all these places now the joint family is not there nuclear family is there the unions are not there and previously the entire jhatka of change used to come through these various mediums and they used to act as shock absorbers you know so confidence came from outside and it protected you now confidence is not coming from outside confidence has to come from inside it has to be manufactured by self and therefore i say confidence is an eternal lifetime ability to remain composed alert and directed in your thoughts words and deeds you know when faced with fears and insecurities such that dangers becomes opportunity obstacles becomes innovation setback becomes breakthroughs and weaknesses becomes advantage and you have to be confident that's the first quality for the 2019 
I have always said that there are four emotions that people should have, you know, in order to make their life beautiful. One is confidence, about which I said self-confidence is the most important thing. You have to manufacture confidence on his own, on your own now, by remaining absolutely alert, directed, and composed in your thoughts, words, and deeds. The second is cheerfulness. You should always be cheerful, whatever is happening, good or bad around you, because bad is going to happen, good is going to happen, all kinds of unexpected things are going to happen, every kind of uncertainty is going to hit you, every type of unpredictability is going to hit you, every type of, you know, complexity is going to hit you, you know, we call it the Vaka times, it's going to be very volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous kind of thing and therefore what is required is in spite of all that is happening, good or bad, you need to remain cheerful. And the third is you have to be absolutely enthusiastic, you know, about everything. Enthusiasm, I -A -I -S -M is the last word. I am sold myself. You should be enthusiastic about everything. Enthusiasm means God within. And the moment God comes out of you, you will remain enthusiastic all throughout your life. And the last one is known as sense of humor. The last emotion, you know, is known as sense of humor. You should have a tremendous sense of humor to laugh at yourself and laugh at all the good that you've done, laugh at all the bad that you've done, all the nonsense that you have done. Like I've done a whole lot of nonsense and I keep laughing at myself. And because I've been in a position to laugh at myself, I've been in a position to correct myself and move forward. So this 2019, take a pledge that I am going to be enthusiastic, I'm going to be cheerful, I'm going to have a sense of humor and I'm going to be confident. And I am going to face this entire world by doing a whole lot of things to myself. I'm going to upgrade myself in such a manner and I'm going to load myself with the knowledge, attitude, skills, habits and strategies and creativity that I am in a position to face this bloodiest period. 2019-20 is going to be the most dangerous period of your life. If you handle it well, there are incredible opportunities for those who can handle it very well. And there are incredible personal, you know, crisis of personal confidence for those who cannot handle. This is a very delicate period. I wish you the very best. Smart Training and Consultancy Services and I, Santosh Nair are always with you to ensure that your confidence and your enthusiasm and your cheerfulness and your sense of humor is intact. To ensure that you have a great life in the future and to ensure that you came to this world and you will do something beautiful. We will inspire you. We will pep you. We will motivate you. We will rip you. We will roger you and we will ensure that you do not lose grip on your life. So all the very best for 2019. May only good happen to you. May only great things happen to you. Best of luck. Thank you very much. This is Santosh Nair, the chairman of Smart Training and Consultancy saying goodbye to all of you and have a powerful future. Thank you.